I don't know whether his Olympic gold inspired me or his DNA has made me the way I am. But certainly when you grow up with a gold medal at home, you feel like anything's possible. And if he can do it, why couldn't I do it? I guess my pathway into sailing was kind of inevitable. Um, following in my dad's footsteps, we always sailed. It's what we did at the weekends. Um, we came down to the sailing club, uh, we got in the boats, and when I was really little, it was just about having fun. Eventually, my competitive spirit took over. I say eventually, it was probably always there, and I began racing. I remember being absolutely desperate. Uh, to get racing and to be able to beat people, essentially. You don't have children so they can do what you did. Um, and uh, you know, everyone has to find their own path in life and, and their own way of doing things. But it was obvious from <clears throat> quite an early age with Ailey, once she got keen on the sailing around about, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, where she really started to get very keen, um, it became obvious that she was um, a little bit different just in her attitude and in her desire and what she wanted to achieve. Going into the last race, having to win the race with the Americans sixth or worse and the Brazilians fifth or worse. And uh, going out to the start of that last race, um, <clears throat> Bryn and I were, were sort of sitting in the boat going out to the start, talking about it. Uh, and I, I sort of said to him, look, Bryn, forget about bronze, forget about silver. We're just going to go out and get him win the race and, you know, leave everything else up to the others. And that's what we did, of course. We went out, won the race. It finished in, you know, 10 foot waves and, and uh, 33 knot winds, which, uh, which for a starboat is uh, outrageous, frankly. And uh, we, we won the race by just 11 seconds from the Australians uh, with, uh, with the Americans and the Brazilians nowhere to be seen. For me, when you grow up with a gold medal in the house, well, particularly for me, everything was always competitive from sort of the second I started and, and when I started racing. So everything always felt like I was trying to get to the Olympics and win gold. Uh, so I, it didn't matter what I did, I was fighting for the win. Tokyo was beyond my wildest dreams. I think we felt like COVID was going to really uh, dampen that Olympics and change the dynamics and that it wouldn't feel like an Olympics, that it wouldn't feel special like it should and it honestly was the total opposite. I rang home when day before the medal race, we, we were a long way ahead, we we'd pretty much it was in our control to win or lose, it, it was totally whether we threw it away or not and I rang dad because I think just this excitement that oh my god I might do it. And uh, dad said to me, there's one thing you need to not do. And I was like, I know, don't be over the start line. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And then we just laughed. And and that was uh, a bit of the theme for the next day, to be honest. Yeah. Like, every day, every conversation we had, I was like, we just can't be over the start line. That's the one thing. For five years, we've been talking about winning a gold medal and we finally had. And um, yeah, it was just this unbelievable moment uh, of celebration and joy and just, um, pride to be honest. It's really special. I mean just both going is fantastic. <clears throat> both to medals is amazing. Uh, both to gold medals is ridiculous. Uh, people often talk about well you know you're proud, excited etc and actually it was, it was relieved that uh, that she'd done it and um, yeah <clears throat> so it was really a really fantastic experience because as they finished the race and also of course when they when they got on the, the podium the uh, the whole club erupted, of course, and uh, so you know we weren't watching alone on the telly. It was you know we had 150 people, friends and family, and and it was just the most fantastic experience. Three cheers for Ailey and Hannah. Hey, babe. Hooray! Hey, babe. Hooray! Hey, babe. Hooray! Hey, babe. Hooray!